guys. <laughs> You're looking up at me from the ground today and for my vlog I thought I'd do something a little fun and that is ooh, give you a little tour of at least some of my tattoos especially since one of them's brand brand new I thought you might want to have a little bit of a closer look. <laughs> so which tattoos are we talking about? I'm talking about the ones on my legs and specifically this one right here. So everybody always asks me questions like how many tattoos do I have? Um, when did I start getting them done? Which one's my favorite? Um, and you know if you had the chance you'd want to get like a close-up of every tattoo you could just so that you could kind of enjoy them at a different perspective and things like that. So I figured today what what better day than um, sit by this nice big window and um, give you a um, really good picture of each of the tattoos on my leg and kind of give the background on them. Okay, so now I've got this leg all lotioned up and I'll show you exactly what I have on it. Okay, first things first, I should show you the entire leg so that you get kind of a perspective of everything, right? So I'm going to do this the best that I can with my camera and I'll put my legs up. And this particular leg is completely tattooed now. I will not get anything further done on it except maybe um, touch-ups or something like that in the future if I need them. And it goes all the way up to my panty line. You see that? People always ask me, will I get any foot tattoos? And, and I don't really have the desire. Um, and I've heard they hurt a lot, so, so I probably won't. But, um, but we'll see. We'll see. You never really know. But probably not. Okay, let's put this down again and we'll try to show my leg tattoo without showing you my pussy. There you go. Okay, so this tattoo I just got. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I bet you I can do this and make it just a little better. Mm. Just a little higher off the ground. Hopefully I don't kill anything. Oh, perfect, because then you can see my face. Okay, this tattoo I just got, it's probably a month old. Oh, I love putting lotion on it. Lotion and oils and stuff like that because they just make everything pop. And it makes my skin really soft and the color's really vibrant. Um, so the storyline behind this is my absolute favorite flower in the universe is a daffodil. And the reason why is because I hate the winter. Like, I hate the winter. And the first sign of spring is when you have two or three warm days in the month of February or March. It depends on where you are in the country. Um, February and March, the first couple warm days of the year, and out pop the daffodils. I mean, it can still have snow on the ground, and there's daffodils out sometimes. Um, it can still be cold, and there's daffodils out. All it takes is two or three warm days in the spring, and it's done. So they're my happiest flower because they remind me that winter's almost over. So, and yellow's my favorite color. So I've got daffodils right here. You know, there's not like a number symbol or anything. Um, there's little ladybugs. There's the little water drop droplets all over the, um, the little leaves. I mean, the guy who did it was incredible. Let me see if I can show you. And it's actually a cover-up of an old tattoo, and every once in a while you can see it. It was an old daffodil tattoo, and all he did was cover it up because, you know, like over time the coloring 
goes bad on tattoos and so he just made a new one instead of trying to fix the other one. It's actually still healing so every once in a while you'll see little parts that don't look healed yet. But I love the water droplets. I love all the attention to detail. I'm just really thrilled with the tattoo. And the ladybugs are cute. It's just a... I'm sorry, I got distracted. Um, it's a really well done tattoo. If you were staring at my legs and you saw, anyway, you'd be distracted too. Um, so besides this tattoo right here, we should, we should navigate further down the leg to my other favorite tattoos. This whole leg was done so well. Okay, so this tattoo right here is of a porcelain, <laughs> of a porcelain um, mask or of a masquerade mask. I'm not sure the best way to, to, to show you. In there. So it's a mask. It's red. It's got the feathers that come up, the plume. Um, all over around it there's flowers and I had him do it black and white with just a little bit of color because um, then the red would really pop and I'm really pleased with the tattoo because it's a face and let me tell you how many faces on people's bodies have you seen where they didn't come out well and um, this one did so I'm very very pleased with it Hold on, I'm going to turn this way so you can see it a little better. The reason why I got a, a masquerade um, mask on my leg is because I absolutely love um, the Phantom of the Opera. I love the Phantom of the Opera. And it's not just I love the Phantom of the Opera, I love the story of the Phantom of the Opera. The story of the Phantom of the Opera is um, that the phantom has is a grotesquely ugly looking man because of I don't know a birth defect or something that happened in his childhood his parents cast him aside and he's an orphan he gets kind of taken into um, a circus and then he runs away and he finds himself at the bottom of this opera house where he becomes a brilliant musician um, nobody wants him because he's ugly or he's afraid nobody wants him because he's so ugly. And so he hides behind a mask. And then the whole storyline is, can you love the man behind the mask? And can you love a man that's so monstrously ugly? And it's just, okay. So the masquerade ball song that plays about um, halfway through, this, through the opera and it says, masquerade, paper faces on parade, masquerade, hide your face so the world will never find you. And when I heard that part of the movie, I was like, man, is that like life. How people hide behind masks all the time, like not just, not just like to go to a, to a masquerade ball, but like life is kind of like that. And I just love the idea that you can put yourself out there and kind of put your mask down. So I don't know. It's kind of the same reason why I got the Judge Me Not, is um, everybody's different. So, I mean, why not just embrace people's differences instead of having to worry about judgment and, you know, is somebody going to judge me based on the way I look or on what I do in my life or, or, or who I am or anything like that. But anyway, the Masquerade um, songs like one of my favorite in the opera and the music of the night and all of those things. So I found it very fitting to um, put that on my body forever because it's my favorite opera. Okay, so every year I go to New York City for like the last three years. I've been to New York City for Christmas. And was it three years? One, two, two years. Three years. God, I don't remember. Wow. Anyway. Um, Every time I go to New York City for Christmas, I see The Phantom of the Opera. It's my favorite musical. <sighs> okay, sorry. <laughs> I just, I love it so much that that's all I now I want to do is listen to the music. So, so I've got that 
right here and then right up here on the edge of the leg line right there by the panty. It says masquerade, paper faces on parade, masquerade, hide your face so the world will never find you. Hmm. <laughs> and that's it.